So one of the uh, more common uh, beginner mistakes, which is fairly harmless but can be quite frustrating, is the arrow coming off the string like that. And a lot of people who go on the first day, it gets really flustery because you just want to shoot your three arrows, you bring it up and you just can't keep it no matter what you do. And it just eats away at you. We get that. Thankfully, the solution is really simple. The way to fix this is to keep the back of your hand flat. So when you keep the back of the hand flat, it won't come off, nearly guaranteed. And that is the simple way to remember. Keep the back of the hand flat and the arrow will not come off. Easy. Now there are other solutions which don't really address the problem, but they do have some valid points. Uh, the first thing we often hear is uh, you should spread your fingers out. So instead of holding the arrow or string like this, you spread your fingers out a bit more so you don't touch the knock. And that's a legitimate point because um, the movement of the arrow does come from the fingers pinching the knock. That said, it doesn't solve the problem because a lot of people will spread the fingers out and then at full draw, they'll clench the fingers and then whip it off anyway. The second thing I sometimes hear is the advice that you should cant the bow or tilt it a bit before you reach full draw and therefore get full draw. But again, if you don't address the problem, then you tilt, you cant and then flick. The other advice I sometimes hear and this is probably the worst one, is to keep your finger on the arrow as you draw. Uh, I don't like this because there's a really big danger in letting go with your finger over the arrow and you shoot your finger off. Definitely don't do that. It's like putting your finger over the muzzle of a firearm. Just don't do that unless you want to lose your finger. Um, even if you don't push against the arrow point, you are putting pressure on the shaft and that can cause a deflection. And believe me, a lot of people when they start have a lot of anxiety over doing archery and they will do a lot of these really stiff movements which as regular archers we don't expect. So bear with me, I see a lot of people do this and push the arrow against the bow. That's bad, don't do that. And again, even if you do that and move your finger off, you will still flick the arrow off once you get the full draw. So all these solutions kind of circumvent the problem and address different possible causes, but it doesn't address the actual cause or provide the actual solution. The cause of the arrow coming off is the movement of the fingers, specifically the fingers curling inwards. So what happens is when you hold the string and you often will make contact with the knock, when you inadvertently move and squeeze your fingers in the curl, you end up moving the arrow off the string. That's how it looks like without a finger tab. So when you pull, there's a bit of anxiety, you squeeze by accident and it comes off. None of the other solutions address the problem of that anxiety squeeze. Again, pull, squeeze, and it comes off. That's this motion. The fingers curling in, and from this side, you'll see as they curl in, they form knuckles. So one of the things I say when I instruct is, don't show knuckles. This is the clenching, curling motion that causes the arrow to come off. Again, from this side, Clench, comes off. And that is why the device to keep the back of the hand flat solves that problem. So by keeping it flat, we don't show knuckles. We keep it flat and stay still. I can still pinch the arrow like that, draw it flat and it won't come off. I can cant, I can keep my finger on or not, but as long as I keep the back of the hand flat, I completely remove the problem of the string uh, knocking the arrow off. When you show knuckles, knuckle, boink, that's what happens. And that's why people sometimes have a hard time enjoying the first day because this really small thing really annoys them. 
And sometimes the other archers or the instructor won't actually give the one bit of advice you actually need. So hopefully that does make sense. Um, if you shoot correctly with your flat hand on your first day, that is most certainly going to press your instructor. But if you can explain why it happens and show someone else how to fix it, you look really good. And of course, you'll be shooting much better as well. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Do take care of yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.